hello friends welcome back in this video we will style home page and navbar okay so let's begin with app.js so inside app.js here is the dev we need to add some css tailwind css classes okay so class name that is going to be bg gray 400 and if i save this and if i go back to the browser let me refresh okay it's auto refresh so as you can see we are getting a gray color background but this is not full screen so to make it make this full screen here i'll need to add one more class which is height screen okay let me save this and let's go back now as you can see the entire screen is gray color and one more thing uh, like if i type something uh, you i can see more options re uh, related to that class so for that you need to install one uh, extension which is let me show you the extension name for tailwind here it is tailwind css intelligence so here as you can see the image uh, if you type something there are a lot of options uh, related to that class so you need to install this i've already installed it so this is one thing which i wanted to show you so this is done okay now let's save this and close the file uh, nothing is required from this okay so now let's go to navbar.js okay i have added uh, some classes in the meantime so let me save this okay now you will see something like this okay so here okay here also i have added few classes uh yeah this was added by me uh, in the earlier lecture so let's see uh yes i need this pg gray 700 so let's keep as it is uh text white we also need text white then i need text lg okay to make the text size larger okay so as you can see if i hover on this you can see that font size is 1.25 rem and line height is 1.75 rem and pixel wise it is 18 pixel and this is 20 pixels so this makes easier to understand and padding we need four okay so save this go back now we have the padding as well now uh one thing which i wanted to do is i wanted to add a div after this nav tag let's cut this out and let's paste it here and inside this div i will add uh tailwind CSS classes which is container and mx auto okay let's save this okay now it is in the center now we need flex and justify between okay so now the logo will be on the left side and this links will be on the right side okay so this is done and looking good then what else we need so here in the guest link uh, i want to add some css classes okay tailwind css classes so flex and space x that is going to be two let's save this okay now as you can see this links are side by side so this looks good now uh what else we need inside navbar i think it is almost done nothing is required here now let's go to home.js okay and here we need to style it so and one more thing uh i'll be adding some icon here so let's first complete the css then i will add uh svg icon so it will look good so inside this section i will add class name that is going to be container and mx auto okay to make the screen center okay now it is in the center now let's add a uh, few more classes and here i will do class name uh, let's if not here inside this div okay so here i'll do class name that is going to be text center okay we need the entire content to be in the center so now the entire content is in the center and let's remove this div this is not required so this is starting here and ending here so let's remove this div this is extra so i don't require this I'll save this now it is the html is lesser now in h1 tag i will add some tailwind css classes so class name that is going to be text 6 excel okay if i save this here as you can see we have professional development a big one then uh, we need the text should be in white color so text white 
then we need font to be bold so font bold okay then we need space between the words okay as you can see this words are, are too clumsy okay so to add some space in between the words we i'll adding i'll be adding tracking wider okay let's see now as, as you can see we are getting some space in between the text now we need padding top 48 okay uh, so it will come down okay now it is looking better so this h1 tag styling is done now in p tag uh, i'll do some i'll add some classes so class name that is going to be text to excel okay padding top will be four text will be white and what else we need we need tracking wide okay not wider this time but only wide so this looks better now now we need to add css for these two buttons so right now these are only links so what i'll do is i'll uh, make this as buttons okay so button let's cut this and i'll paste it here okay so it will be a button same thing i'll do for uh, login save this so now this will be a button and now i can add class here okay so rounded will be sm okay then we need bg blue 600 then we need padding from top and bottom to be four padding from sorry padding from left and right i need four and padding from top and bottom i need two text will be white let's save this okay now we are getting this one but white okay whit -E white okay this is looking good now now i will just copy this class names and i'll paste it here because both the buttons are same okay i need some gap in between so for that what we can do is uh, we can add a class here class name that is going to be space x4 okay save this okay we are getting the space but i need some padding from top so padding top will be four oh, four is better okay so this is looking nice and here i'll add some icons so let's go to hero icon so hero icons this one no, this is mostly used for tailwind okay this is maker of tailwind css so let's go uh, take this only first one it looks good so where i need to paste it let's go inside navbar and where is my logo okay here it is so i'll just paste it here <laughs> let's see what how it looks okay now here as you can see this is like uh one below other we need it just to be side by side so we need to fix that so let's do it let's go to vs code and here what i can do is uh, okay let me cut this i need to think um so, so inside this link tag i'll take a div tag okay then inside div tag i'll take a span and i'll paste the svg which i have copied okay then this mern auth i'll just cut it out and after the span i'll take one more span and i'll paste it and then inside this div i will add class name that is going to be flex okay so it will be side by side okay then we need some space in between so space x i will take two okay so this is looking good now if i click on register so this page is we need to style this page so this i'll be doing in the next video and even login so both the page are almost same so i'll complete this in the next video even if from here also we can go so i'll finish that in the next video so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye